In today's scenario, investing your money is very important as just earning will not suffice your needs. You work really hard to make both ends meet. But, do you think that it is sufficient for you to accomplish your goals? For this, you need to invest wisely to get a good rate of return. If you are not investing, you are missing out on a lot of opportunities. Now, the question is, what is investment? Investment is enough of allocating your money with the expectation to get profit. This can be done by starting a business or purchasing a property to invest with the hope to resell it at a higher price to make a profit. In addition to this, investing in a health insurance policy is also a wise decision. The main objective of investment is to buy a good that is not consumed today but it can be used in the coming years to generate money. Why you should invest your money? If you invest your money today, it will increase in the future. The financial assets offer returns on the money over the long run. In addition, if you are working, you should always save money for retirement. You can put your savings into various portfolios such as stocks, real estate, and business. After retirement, you can make the most of the funds that you get from the investment. What is the best investment options? Real estate or stocks? Key takeaways. The decision to invest in real estate or stocks is a personal choice that depends on your financial situation, risk tolerance, goals, and investment style. So here, it depends on your personal choice because there are people who are personally oriented so they want to invest for their future. And there are also some people who prefer more like to open bank accounts. Real estate and stocks have different risk and opportunities. Real estate is generally a great investment option. It can generate ongoing passive income and can be a good long-term investment, and it has a low-risk investment. On the other hand, investing in stock market can offer several benefits, including the potential to earn dividends or an average annualized return of 10%. However, a stock market can be volatile, meaning returns are never guaranteed. Real estate is not as liquid as stocks and tends to require more money and time, but it does provide a passive income stream and the potential for substantial appreciation. Real estate investments are considered non-liquid assets because it can take months for a person or company to receive cash from the sale. But investing in real estate includes passive income, stable cash flow, task advantages, diversification, and leverage. Real estate investment trusts offer a way to invest in real estate without having to own, operate, or finance properties. Stocks are subject to market, economic, and inflationary risk, but don't require a big cash injection and they generally can be easily bought and sold. Stocks offer investors the great potential for growth capital appreciation over the long haul. Investors are willing to stick with stocks over a long period of time, say 10 years, generally have been rewarded with strong positive returns. Reasons to invest in real estate versus stocks Investing is one of the best ways to supplement your income boast your savings, and ultimately achieve your financial goals. Fortunately, there are various options to choose from that each offer, different levels of rest and profitability. That being said, deciding between two of the most popular investment types, which is real estate versus stocks, can be challenging. Many investors have traditionally turned to the stock market as a place to put their investing dollars, while stocks are a well-known investment option. Not everyone knows that buying real estate is also considered an investment. Under the right circumstances, real estate can be an alternative to stocks, offering lower risk yielding better returns, and providing greater diversification. 
whether it's planning for retirement, saving for a college fund, or earning residual income, individuals need an investment strategy that fits their budget and needs. Comparing an investment in real estate to buying stocks is a good place to start. In addition, real estate and stocks can both yield high profits, though they operate completely different ways. The biggest difference is that real estate is a tangible asset, while stocks are not. Investing in real estate involves acquiring a physical property and choosing an exit strategy to make money. Stocks involve purchasing shares in a company, something that cannot be physically represented. This difference makes stocks much more liquid when compared to real estate, meaning stocks are easier to buy and sell at a faster pace. Overview of Real Estate versus Stocks Investing in real estate or stocks is a personal choice that depends on your financial situation, risk tolerance, goals, and investment style. It's safe to assume that more people invest in the stock market, perhaps because it doesn't take as much time or money to buy stocks. If you're buying real estate, you're going to have to save and put down a substantial amount of money. When you buy stocks, you buy a tiny piece of that company. In general, you can make money to waste with stocks. Value appreciation as the company's stock increases and dividends. When you buy real estate, you're buying a piece of land or piece of property. Rents, which can provide a consistent revenue stream. An appreciation as a property's value rises are how most real estate investors generate money. Furthermore, because real estate may be leveraged, you can extend your holdings even if you can afford to pay cash upfront. For many prospective investors, real estate is appealing because it is a tangible asset can be controlled with the added benefit of diversification. Real estate investors who buy property own something concrete for which they can be accountable. Real estate is generally a great investment option. It can generate income and passive income and can be a good long-term investment if the value increases over time. You may even use it as a part of your overall strategy to begin building wealth. However, you need to make sure you are ready to start investing in real estate. For one, you will need to put down a significant amount of money or fund to begin real estate investing. Buying a home, apartment complex, or piece of land can be expensive. It's not to mention the ongoing maintenance costs you'll be responsible for, as well as the potential for income gaps if you are between tenants for a time. Note that real estate investment trusts are a way to invest in real estate and are both and sold like stocks. There are a number of considerations for investors when choosing between investing in stocks or buying real estate as an investment. Returns Real Estate versus Tax Investing in the stock market makes the most sense when paired with benefits that boost your returns, such as company matching in a 401000 But those perks are not always available and there is a limit to how much you can benefit from them. Investing in the stock market independently can be unpredictable and the return on investment ROI is often lower than expected. Comparing the returns of real estate in the stock market is an apples to oranges comparison. The factors that affect prices, values, and returns are very distinct. However, we can get a general idea by comparing the total returns of the SPDR, S&P 500 ETF, and the Vanguard Real Estate ETF total return for the last 17 years. As the chart demonstrates, both real estate and stocks 
can take a big hit during economic recessions. Note the big dips that occurred during the 2008 Great Recession and the 2020 COVID-19 crisis. Rest. Real estate versus stocks. The housing bubble and the banking crisis of 2008 brought a decline in value for investors in the real estate and the stock markets. And the COVID-19 crisis is doing it all over again, albeit for different reasons. Still, it's important to remember that stocks and real estate have very different risks overall. Real estate. Here are some things to consider when it comes to real estate and the risks associated with it. The most important risk that people miss is that real estate requires a lot of research. It's not something you can go into casually and expect immediate results and returns. Real estate is not an asset that's easily liquidated and it can't be cashed in quickly. This means you can't cash it in when you're in a bind. For home flippers or those who own rental properties, there are risks that come with handling repairs or managing rentals. Some of the main issues you'll, you will come across are the cost, not to mention the time and headache of having to deal with tenants, and you may not be able to put them of it of if there's an emergency. As an investor, you may want and need to consider hiring a contractor to handle repairs and renovations of your flip or a property manager to oversee the upkeep of your rental. They, this may cut into your bottom line but it does reduce your, your time spent overseeing your investment. Stocks The stocks market will subject to several different kinds of risks market economic and inflationary risk. First, stock values can be extremely volatile with their prices subject to fluctuation in the market. Volatility can be caused by geopolitical and company-specific events. See for instance, a company has operation in another country, this power and division is subject to the laws and rules of that nation. Consider this. Dividend paying stocks can generate reliable income but it would take a considerable investment in a high yielding dividend stock to generate enough income to sustain retirement without selling additional securities. Relying solely on high yield dividend means an investor miss out on opportunities for higher growth investment. But if that country's economy has a problems or any political troubles arise, that company's stock may suffer. Stocks are also subject to the economic cycle as well as the monetary policy, regulation, stock probation, or even changes in the entries rate set by a country's central bank. Other risks may stem from investors themselves. Investors who choose not to diversify their holdings are also exposing themselves to greater risk. Traditional real estate investments can be broken down into two broad categories. Residential properties like your home, rental properties or flipping homes to buy, then sell for a profit, and commercial properties such as apartment complexes, office buildings, and strip malls. The pros. Investing in real estate is easy to understand. While the home buying journey can be complicated, the basics are simple. Purchase a property, manage upkeep, and attempt to sell for a higher value. Also, owning a tangible asset can make you feel more in control of your investment than buying slivers of ownership in companies through shares of stocks. Investing with debt is safer with real estate. Also known as your mortgage, you can invest in a new property with a 20% down payment or less and finance the rest of the property's cost. Investing in stocks with debt, also known as margin trading, is extremely risky and strictly for experienced traders. Real estate investments can serve as a hedge against inflation. 
Real estate ownership is generally considered a hedge against inflation as home values and rents typically increase with inflation. There can be tax advantages to property ownership. Home owners may qualify for a tax deduction of mortgage interest paid up to the first $1 million in mortgage debt. There are also a tax breaks when you sell a principal residence such as an inclusion that may allow you to avoid capital against taxes on net proceeds of $250,000 if you are single or $500,000 if you are married or filing jointly. If you own and sell commercial property, you may be able to avoid capital against through a 1031 exchange if you reinvest proceeds in a similar type of property. And investment properties can earn tax breaks through depreciation or writing off wear and tear the property. The cons. Real estate investments can be more work than stocks. While purchasing property is easy to understand, that doesn't mean the work of maintaining properties, especially rental properties, is easy. Owning properties requires much more sweat equity than purchasing stock or stock investments like mutual funds. Real estate is expensive and highly illiquid. Investing in real estate, even when borrowing cash, requires a large upfront investment. Getting your money out of real estate investment through resale is much more difficult than the point-and-click ease of buying and selling stocks. Real estate has high transaction costs. A seller can expert to pay significant closing costs which can take as much as 6% to 10% off the top of the sale price. That's a hefty cut compared with stocks, especially now that most brokers charge no fees for stock trades. It's difficult to diversify your investments with real estate. Location matters when investing in real estate. Sales may slump in one area while values explode in another. Diversifying the purchase of real estate properties by location and type requires much deeper pockets than the average investor has. The return of investment isn't the sure thing. While property prices tend to rise over time, there's always a risk of selling a property at a loss. The 2008 financial crisis is a reminder of that. This is also true of stocks, of course. The pros. First is, stocks are highly liquid. While investment cash can be locked up for years in real estate, the purchase or sale of public company shares can be done the moment you decide it's time to act. Unlike real estate, it's also easier to know the value of your investment at any time. The second one is, it's easier to diversify your investment and in stocks. Few people have the time, let alone the cash, to purchase enough real estate properties to cover a broad enough range of location or industries to have a true diversification. With stocks, it's possible to build a broad portfolio of companies and industries at a fraction of the time and cost of owning a diverse collection of properties. Perhaps, the easiest way is to purchase shares in mutual funds, index funds, or exchange-traded funds. These funds buy shares in a wide swath of companies which can give fund investors instant diversification. The third one is there are fewer transaction fees with stocks. While you need to open a brokerage account to buy and sell stocks, the price war among discount brokers are reduced stock trading costs in many cases. Many brokers also offer a selection of no transaction fee mutual funds, index funds, and ETFs. The last one is you can grow your investment and in tax advantage retirement accounts. Purchasing shares through an employer-sponsored retirement account or through an individual retirement account can allow your investment to grow a tax referred or a tax-free. The cons. First one is 
stock prices are much more volatile than real estate. The prices of stocks can move up and down much faster than real estate prices. That volatility can be stomach churning unless you take a long view of stocks and funds you purchase for your portfolio. Meaning, you plan to buy and hold despite volatility. The second one is selling stocks may result in a capital gain stocks. When you sell your stocks, you may have to pay a capital gains tax. If you've held the stock for more than a year, however, you may qualify for taxes at a lower rate. Also, you may have to pay taxes on any stock dividends your portfolio paid out during the year. The third one is the stocks can trigger emotional decision making. While you can buy and sell stocks more easily than real estate properties, that doesn't mean you should. When markets waver, investors often sell when a buy and hold strategy typically produces greater returns. Investors should take a long view of all investments, including a building of stock portfolio. The decision to invest in real estate or stock is a personal choice that depends on your financial situation, risk tolerance, goals, and investment style. Real estate and stock have different risks and opportunities. Real estate is not as liquid as stocks and tends to require more money and time, but it does provide a passive income stream and potential for substantial appreciation. Stock are subject to market, economic, and inflationary risk, but don't require a big cash injection, and they generally can be easily bought and sold. As a student who wants to invest, but is just getting started, I recommend investing in stocks. I'm not suggesting that real estate is a bad investment. I'm only stating that as a student, I strongly advise you to invest in stocks rather than real estate because most students do not have the financial means to do so. Real estate requires a lot of money which most students lack. Stock, on the other hand, do not require a large sum of money to begin investing making them a tempting option. Stock, unlike real estate, are liquid, can be bought and traded quickly.